the wretched wrench. Please like and subscribe. Everyone is obviously concerned with just how much a new car is going to cost. The purchase price is important, sure, but today, overall operating efficiency is probably one of the most important buying considerations. What will the cost of ownership add up to in a year's time, or over the next two, three, or four years? There's no one best answer to this question. Cost of ownership depends upon factors such as the price of fuel, the miles per gallon your car achieves, the costs necessary to maintain a car in peak running condition, and of course, the way you and I drive. Even with these variables, we can show you some of the things that General Motors and Pontiac have done to offer cars that provide impressive operating efficiency. In recent years, many design and engineering innovations have been developed to improve fuel efficiency, lower harmful exhaust emissions, and reduce the cost of schedule maintenance. And many of these developments are included in Pontiac's efficiency package. One of the most important innovations is General Motors' developed fully automatic fuel management system, an industry first. It's called computer command control, and it will be standard equipment on gasoline-powered engines in all 1981 Pontiacs. The reduction of noxious exhaust emissions to their lowest level ever is one primary function of computer command control. At the same time, the system offers impressive performance and fuel economy. No matter what displacement or size, an engine's fuel efficiency varies according to the demands placed upon it. Idling, accelerating, or cruising, for example, result in different levels of fuel consumption. So, overall efficiency demands that an engine use as little fuel as possible to achieve consistent performance in all types of driving situations. That's where this new computerized fuel management system takes over. Mark? Computer command control monitors the engine electronically to control fuel flow. Its operation isn't as complicated as one might think. A mixture control solenoid, or switch, in the carburetor adjusts the metering rods to control fuel flow to the engine. An oxygen sensor in the exhaust system determines whether the mixture is too lean or too rich and signals the electronic control module, or computer, to adjust the fuel flow accordingly. If the fuel-air mix is too rich, the computer-activated mixture control solenoid moves the metering rods down to restrict the flow of fuel to the engine. On the other hand, if the mixture is too lean, a case where there's not enough fuel flowing to the engine, the metering rods are released, opening the fuel passages to allow more fuel to the engine. Engineers refer to this as a closed loop or circle operation. The computer receives signals from the oxygen sensor and commands the carburetor to react accordingly. This enables computer command control to maintain a precise air-fuel mixture for efficient performance under all driving conditions, offering you a system that provides impressive economy in all phases of operation. Cold engine startup requires a richer air-fuel mix than during normal cruising, and this new system takes into full account engine temperature. Exactly. Computer command control operates in what engineers call an open loop mode, with the electronic control module sending a fixed, rich command directly to the carburetor. Then when both engine and oxygen sensor are at normal operating temperatures, the system automatically goes into closed loop operation, with the electronic control module now taking its cues or signals from the oxygen sensor. Another of computer command control's important functions is the idle speed control. The lower the engine idle speed, the better the fuel efficiency at idle. After determining the lowest possible idle speed, a control motor is used to increase idle speed as the engine's load conditions demand. During normal driving, the engine must routinely respond to the air conditioning compressor, power steering pump, a variety of electrical loads, the cooling fan, and cold engine operation with cold oil. These increased loads tend to drag the engine speed down, and the idle speed control mechanism is calibrated to compensate for these varying loads. By maintaining a low idle that automatically increases only as power demands require, this new computerized system affects efficiency, as well as saving time and money in maintenance costs by eliminating the need for periodic idle adjustment. Pontiac Efficiency Package 
also features another important fuel savings benefit, a 1981 Firebird, mid-size and full-size Pontiacs equipped with automatic transmission, and you'll be able to feel this while driving. A vehicle speed sensor on the speedometer cable activates computer commands to a torque converter clutch in the transmission. During normal cruising in third gear, the clutch engages, providing a direct mechanical link between the drive shaft and engine, which eliminates fuel wasting slippage. During rapid acceleration or deceleration, this sensor signals the clutch to disengage, allowing the transmission to function normally. By providing low torque operation during normal cruising, the converter clutch combines the efficiency characteristics of a manual transmission with the convenience of an automatic. Computer Command Control's ECM, or Electronic Control Module, does so much, and that's amazing when you consider the small size of its heart. Small may be an understatement. The system is programmed by a computer chip, or PROM, which is calibrated according to things such as vehicle weight and powertrain. The PROM fits into the computer so that the control module can digest information and issue commands necessary for the specific Pontiac you're driving. An advantage of this is that if a problem ever occurs in the computer, it may be corrected by simply replacing the inexpensive PROM or chip rather than the entire control module. Of course, General Motors and Pontiac have gone to great lengths to help build in system reliability. The computer command control standards and test equipment are thorough and precise. Every unit, every engine must pass all tests before leaving the plant. In addition to its major functions, Computer Command Control incorporates a built-in self-diagnosis system. The indicator light on the instrument panel will come on. The problem may correct itself, and if so, the light will go off. If the light stays on, have the system checked at your dealership at your earliest convenience. But improved performance, efficiency. Thanks for watching.